Isaiah chapter 63. Who is this approaching from Edom, adorned in garments dyed in Basra? This figure shines gloriously in their attire, journeying with immense strength. It is I who speaks with righteousness, mighty in the ability to save. Why are your garments red, and your clothing reminiscent of someone who treads in a winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone. There was no one with me from the people, for I will tread them in my anger, trample them in my fury, and their blood will be sprinkled upon my garments, staining all my attire. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed has arrived. I looked around, and there was no one to help. I was surprised that there was no one to uphold me. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation to me, and my fury sustained me. I will tread down the people in my anger, make them drunk in my fury, and bring down their strength to the earth. I will recount the Lord's loving kindness and praise him for all that he has bestowed upon us and his great goodness towards the house of Israel, in accordance with his mercies and the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, Surely they are my people, children who will not deceive. So he became their savior. In all their affliction, he suffered alongside them and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and pity, he redeemed them, carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. Thus, he turned to become their adversary and fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old, Moses, and his people, saying, Where is he who brought them up out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he who placed his Holy Spirit within him? He led them by the right hand of Moses with his glorious arm, parting the waters before them to establish an eternal name for himself. He led them through the deep as a horse in the wilderness, preventing them from stumbling. Just as a beast finds rest in the valley, the Spirit of the Lord caused his people to rest and made a glorious name for himself. Look down from heaven and behold from your holy habitation and glory. Where is your zeal and your strength? the yearning of your compassion and mercy towards me. Are they withheld? Undoubtedly, you are our father, even though Abraham is unaware of us, and Israel does not recognize us. You, O Lord, are our father and redeemer. Your name endures from eternity. O Lord, why have you led us astray from your ways and hardened our hearts from fearing you? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your inheritance. Your holy people have possessed it for only a brief period. Our adversaries have desecrated your sanctuary. We belong to you. You have never ruled over them, and they have not been called by your name. 